All right, another wonderful day in America. Let's see what Classic Firearms is up to. Oh, hey, a video with James Reeves. Nice. The most overrated guns. Boring. Boring. Shotgun. Boring. Boring. Don't disagree. They definitely won't say 1911s are overrated. <laughs> Son of a... I'll show them. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Bullseye Channel. My name is Zane. I'm going to start with the three rules for life. That's five. Three rules for life. Rule one, don't be a jerk. Rule two, take care of yourself. Rule three, help other people. Today, we're just going to do a fun, quick response uh, to the video that Classic Firearms put out. Uh, James Reeves and Kaya uh, were talking drinking in New Orleans, I think, and uh, talking about the most overrated guns. And the 1911 to 2011 got sort of, uh, you know, got scrubbed down pretty hard. Uh, so some American has to defend the 1911, stick up for it, and I'm that American. Welcome to the channel. Uh, largely, this is a bullseye channel. Um, I've been shooting for over... You know, 20 years, uh, 1911s, 2011s, strike fires, rifles, shotguns, everything. Uh, and today we're going to go line by line about what I think they mean when they say overrated and how I think that the 1911 is still a, a premium platform that offers advantages uh, that no other modern uh, pistol can achieve. Uh, so let's get started. If you disagree, that's great. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> like or dislike the video, I guess, and tell me what you think below, uh, and stick around. All right, so, the 1911. Why did they say that it was overrated, you know? And to me, that just means that people, the the, the people, some people think that it is uh, of higher value than it is. What I really think that they meant in that video, and that kind of got toyed at the end, was, is it practical? So, I largely suit competition, uh, we're not going to discuss that, right? Because like, in uh, James sort of said, like, I'm not talking about competition. It's worth saying, though, that the 1911-2011 platform dominate in pistol competitions, for the most part. Uh, bullseye competitions, Bianchi, USPSA, the advantages that the 1911 offer come out in competition where they require high levels of accuracy, great ergonomics, and great trigger pull, which are the three things where the 1911 slash double stack still dominate. I'm going to combine those two because they're essentially the double stack 1911, 2011, and the 1911 are essentially the same platform uh, as they sort of said in the video. So let's go down them real quick. Uh, I'm going to make this pretty short. One, they're old. Yes, they're old. The wheel is still old, but we still use it. Uh, the question isn't, is it old? We like old things. If you don't like old things, then that's just a personal opinion. All oh, this is personal opinion. Uh, and you can just go ahead and not pick it up because it's old. But that's not a reason to say it's overrated, right? So that's not really. Yes, they're old. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, some good things are old. <laughs> most old, old things. Most good things are old. Uh, snappy. I don't know what they mean by snappy, but they're not snappy. Uh, you know, a 9 millimeter. um especially in like a lighter platform is going to offer uh, less recoil, but more uh, like sharper recoil uh, in my experience. Uh, the 45 is going to have more energy coming back into your hand, but it is going to have a longer, uh, just more comfortable curve. Uh, shooting this, and I did today, uh, this is what I've, I have another video where I call this the best 1911 in the world. Uh, I have 18,000 rounds through this. Uh, it can still group one inch, maybe one and a half at uh, 50 yards. Uh, and, uh, you know, got the scores to prove it. Today it shot a 92, first uh, at 50 yards, one-handed. Uh, but if I take this out and I start shooting, or I take this out, this is a Glock, uh, this is definitely gonna have snappier uh, recoil than this, in my opinion. All right, limited capacity. Uh, that's not really a valid point because you have a double stack. As they said, you can stick with the traditional, if you like the traditional, uh, antiquated from a more civilized time, and um, or you can get a double stack, you're going to have more capacity. Uh, obsolete, so obsolete is kind of a difficult one. So obsolete would mean that the things that are offered on modern platforms are better. Uh, some things in modern platforms are better. They are less expensive. That's true. If we're talking about value, which I don't think we are. Um, 
they are easier to manufacture, true. Um, but I'm gonna put this down for a minute. This, which is very modern, and this, which is not modern, uh, the 1911 platform is still going to offer better trigger pull, ergonomics, and accuracy for most, well, ergonomics is subjective to the person, but generally speaking, 1911 is considered to have very good ergonomics. Uh, and this angle is the same as 1911 for a reason, uh, than this. So it's not antiquated because this offers advantages over this in certain categories. So if you value accuracy, trigger pull, and ergonomics, the 1911 is not obsolete, not yet at least. Uh, expensive. Yes, it's expensive. This is made of plastic. This probably has, at tops, I would imagine, three hours of man labor hours in. Maybe less. This, and I know this is a this is a premium one, but even in a stock like Colt, uh, is made of steel, which is more expensive and requires more labor hours. It's not impractical, it's premium, right? You wouldn't say that first class seats are overrated, right? <laughs> or things that are more expensive, like steel, you wouldn't say steel is overrated to plastic, I don't think. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's more expensive. That just means it's more expensive. That doesn't mean that it's overrated. Uh, and then it's bulky. It's not bulky. It's not bulky. A little longer, but not with the light. It's not that bulky. They're comfortable. Uh, thick, svelte. <laughs> thick, svelte. You know, I don't think they're bulky. Uh, oh, and this is my other kind of favorite one. Somebody somewhere, if you drop them, uh, Series 70, one of these, right on the nose, they will ignite the primer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's always been true. It's been true for over 100 years. I don't know that it's mattered much. Um, you can drop rifles and they do the same thing, but we still carry them. So that's my take. Uh, I think the be-all, end-all on the 1911 is that it's not overrated even for uh, a use case, which is in sort of like, you know, somebody going out and uh, buying it for recreation, self-defense, <laughs> uh, or even carry. Uh, it's not overrated. Uh, it offers advantages. It is a superior trigger, superior ergonomics, and superior accuracy. If those things matter in your use case, then it's not overrated. Um, it is expensive. It is something that uh, it's more of an enthusiast platform. Like this is something that you're going to have to practice, but you're going to practice anyway, right? You're not just going to buy something like this and then not practice, right? <laughs> you think that shouldn't be our basis for practical, unpractical, that you can hand it to someone who's never going to practice with it. So they offer advantages. They do offer them at a premium. They still offer advantages 100 years later. That's my opinion on the 1911. I think it's great, but I still uh, own and use the modern. But I still love it. Mm. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the Bullseye Channel. Thanks. Hold hard and shoot straight.